The Audi e-tron GT is a gorgeous looking car. It's probably the best looking EV in the market today. While its electrical cousin, the Porsche Taycan, has a unique futuristic look, the Audi e-tron sports Audi's sophisticated design language. But it takes more than good looks to make an impressive EV. I'm about to take this Audi RS e-tron GT to the famous driving roads of Angeles Crest near Los Angeles to put it through its paces on those twisty mountain roads. But before I do that, make sure to subscribe to the Inside EVs YouTube channel to check out more awesome EVs like this. Let's hop in, take a ride, and see what Audi's Tesla Model S competitor is all about. So we are in the Audi RS e-tron GT and we're about to hit the mountain roads. But before I do, this RS model has 637 horsepower. It goes zero to 60 in 3.1 seconds. The acceleration in this thing is amazing. Wow, when you floor like that, honestly, it's almost like if you're gonna get sucked through this seat and end up in the back seat. It's just, it's crazy. It's amazing how EVs give you all that power right away. Now the range in this particular RS model is the EPA rated 232 miles. Now, it may not seem a lot, but you have to remember that Volkswagen and Audi tend to sandbag their numbers like with the Porsche Taycan. So it will likely go further than 232 miles. With most EVs, it's recommended to charge overnight. If you have a garage or just a way to charge at home overnight, that's way to do it. If you're on the road or if you're road tripping, then you gotta go to a DC fast charger. And this Audi e-tron GT charges fast. The maximum charge rate is 270 kilowatts. Now that's incredibly fast. That will take you from a five to 80% charge in about 23 minutes, maybe a little bit less. But you have to find the appropriate DC fast charging station you would need to hook it up to a 350 kilowatt DC fast charger in order to take full advantage of the 270 kilowatt max charging speed. Fortunately, there aren't that many of those around, but there will be more in the future. So if you thought this 5,000 pound EV doesn't handle well, you're wrong. It handles brilliantly. The steering is direct, the brakes are strong, and there is very little body roll. But more importantly, this EV does a great job of hiding its weight. Honestly, it feels like I'm driving a little Audi S3 around these roads. When it comes to brake region, the Audi e-tron GT doesn't have that much. If you let your foot off the gas, it actually coasts. It's, I'm just coasting right now. It's, the, the electric motors aren't slowing me down. Steering wheels right here, you have uh, paddle shifters. If you hit the, the negative one twice, it gives you a slightly more aggressive brake region when you lift off of the accelerator pedal. If you don't want to mess with the paddles and you want the car to automatically adjust the brake region for you, there is an automatic setting in the infotainment system that you can choose. And depending on where you are, for example, if you're going downhill, uphill, just cruising on the highway, car will automatically set the best regen for you. Now remember, it's not gonna be strong, so you're barely gonna feel it. There is no one pedal driving in this Audi e-tron GT. If you don't like brake regen, this is the car for you. That's not like Tesla's. Tesla's have very strong brake regen, so strong that you could easily one pedal drive them. But this isn't a case with this e-tron. But that's okay. Some people don't like one pedal driving, some people do. But you know, I wish I gave an option of one pedal driving. People who are new to EVs will like this style of driving because it feels like a gas car. Especially because the Audi e-tron GT creeps forward when you let off the brake like a regular car. So this really does feel a lot like a regular car, but it accelerates like an EV, of course. <laughs> Whoa! This thing soaks up bumps and dips very well. It's a very comfortable ride in comfort mode. But what's awesome is that it still handles very well in comfort mode. It's amazing. I love it. Now, if I hit the drive mode button right down here on the front of the center console, I'm in dynamic. Dynamic is um, 
Audi language for sport mode. So the car lowers a little bit, steering gets heavier. Whoa! The throttle response gets a lot stronger. Even in dynamic mode, it's comfortable. Now if I hit this drive mode selector again, I'm in individual mode and that's where you could customize um, the drive mode. But if I hit it again, now I'm in efficiency. So that's obviously an eco mode. The front motor is doing the majority of the work. Driving the Audi e-tron GT around town is great. It's a very pleasant car to drive. It's very comfortable, fast of course, luxurious, quiet, easy to maneuver. If you get into a tight space, you have a 360 degree camera and you have parking sensors, so you'll be okay. So now that we're out of the mountain roads, I'll give you a better idea of how this compares to Porsche Taycan and Tesla Model S. As you know, this is almost identical to the Porsche Taycan. So it handles a lot like it. Although, I would say that the Porsche Taycan is a little bit tighter. I'd say it's a little bit sharper. This RS handles better than Tesla Model S, or at least the previous version. I haven't driven the Plaid, but I think it's safe to say that this will handle better than the Plaid. The Plaid is, of course, more powerful and will hit 68 much quicker, but I think this RS could outhandle the Plaid on Canyon Road. Honestly, I could drive this car for hours. Highway, city, mountain roads, it doesn't matter. It has almost everything you need. It's a very enjoyable car. The Audi RS e-tron GT is a very impressive vehicle. It's not just good looking, it's a luxurious, and comfortable sports car that can out accelerate most supercars on the market today. But who's to say this isn't a supercar, especially when you look at the starting price? The RS model starts at $139,900. That puts it just a pinch below a comparable Porsche Taycan and it puts it above a comparable Tesla Model S. So which EV would you choose? Would it be the tantalizing Porsche Taycan would it be the king of the hill Tesla Model S or this gorgeous Audi e-tron GT? Thanks for watching.